guys, Erica Tesla here. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are following me on social media, some of you might know that I went on an amazing once in a lifetime trip with my family to Egypt. I was able to tag along with my husband. He's the one with what I describe as a really cool job. In today's video, I wanted to talk about what I brought with me on my trip to Egypt. I have a history of overpacking for basically any kind of trip, whether it's been clothes, shoes, makeup. And this trip, I wanted things to be different. We did not have a lot of time. It was a very long flight. It was like 24 hours door to door um, for the trip. And because of that, I wanted to really simplify things. I did not want to be worried about checking like tons of bags. I mean, we are going across the world. I feel like simplicity is key. Let's get into it because I could ramble on and on. This was the makeup bag that I took. And this is by a woman owned brand, small independent brand called Cushy, uh, K-U-S-S-H-I. And I received this bag, I want to say going on like four years ago and now at least. Um, I've had this bag for a while and it is honestly one of the best makeup bags that I've traveled with and it was perfect for what I needed. All this stuff is still <laughs> in the bag. I had to it comes with this removable component and this is where I kept my makeup brushes and I'll show you guys like don't judge me because like I'm still we just got back a couple of days ago and I, I want to be a better person I want to be the person that like unpacks everything as soon as they get home but I'm not there yet but here are my brushes they're dirty after I film this I am going to wash them so here are all the brushes that I took I want to specifically highlight I brought my BK Beauty 106 brush, which is one of my all-time favorite brushes, and I also brought the A506 from the Angie Hot and Flashy collab that BK Beauty did with her. She's uh, another influencer on YouTube. So these two were really important for my complexion products. And then I had some other brushes here. Yeah, I have another BK Beauty brush. I have the 204, which was like more for like fine, detailed work and kind of like applying makeup if I wanted to under the eyes and then you know a few fluffy brushes I have this ColourPop blush brush but this is like good for me like for me to have only brought this quantity of brushes is a big move forward for me because sometimes you would think I'm doing makeup for a bridal party when I travel and I'm not it's just one face <laughs> because my husband is not interested in wearing makeup and my kids are only interested in kind of playing with the stuff that I bring. But anyway, yeah, I brought it in this thing and it has this flap here to protect the brushes and your other makeup. And then it has this zipper part here. And in here I had a double-ended brush. This is from Odin's Eye. I used this side for like applying bronzer and I kept it in the part just because it was double-ended. It was kind of hard to stick it in the, the slots. And then I ended up not using this, but this was like kind of like the remnants of a Kosas brow pencil. I was like, well, maybe I'll finish using it on the trip. But what I did use uh, fairly, well, what I did use daily was this Jason Wu brow pencil, the Groom by Mr. Wu pencil. I had this Wet n Wild eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner. I had my LYS cream bronzer stick the shade harmony and this thing is like kind of it's i've kind of destroyed it <laughs> but that's because i love it and then finally i have this jason Wu uh lip pencil and again if you guys follow me on instagram i did stories kind of like highlighting some of the main um, makeup products that i use but yeah so this pouch comes out of out of the bag so let me show you guys what's in the rest of it. So another cool feature of this bag is that it does unzip on the side. So you can kind of like open it up and like spread all of your makeup. And I'm, I'm going to spill stuff. But um. <laughs> anyway, let's go category by category. I'll show you what I brought for as far as complexion products. Okay. Um, I, I 
left it upstairs, but I did have a moisturizer that I brought by Refer. It was like in a white tube. Um, I can like kind of pop up a picture of that, um, but that's kind of what I use for like makeup prep. And then for foundation, I use the new um, House Labs triclone skin tech foundation and i used the shade this is the shade 340 medium cool i was like super curious about this foundation and i was already running low on foundation i'm trying to do a better job of like not overstocking on complexion products and i tried this in store i really liked how this worked for me on the trip um I inadvertently ended up wearing this <laughs> on the plane ride home. We had like a dinner and like had to rush to the airport the night that we left. And so I don't recommend wearing this for 24 hours like I did on the way home. But if you are on a hot hike in Egypt and you want to climb into a pyramid, this foundation lasted me all day. It's medium coverage. I was very happy with the coverage. I was happy with the lasting power. Um, you know, it got us through most of the days of like touring like the temples and pyramids. And um, thankfully, October is like a good time of year to travel to Egypt. So it wasn't like too, too hot. But there were some, some moments during the day where it was like, you know, a little bit hot. And um, I was really impressed with this foundation. It was a risk. I risked it all because I had never tried this foundation before. And, you know, genius me decides like, why don't I just take this on a trip to Egypt and just see what happens. Um, but thankfully it worked out. I was really happy with the foundation. I was happy with the way the shade matched me. Um, I don't have this on today i'm trying to like give some other things like a try right now but um yeah like this worked out really really well i had picked up the tarte shape tape concealer during the um, ulta 21 days of beauty i think I, I feel like i picked this up during some sale some recent sale but anyway this is one of my favorite concealers uh, for me, it works. I know everyone is different, but I really like this concealer. A little bit goes a long way. It lasted really well. It worked nicely with the House Labs foundation. And then along with that, just to put everything in place, I have the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And this is the new talc-free formula, which is really exciting that um, you know, if you have sensitivities to talc or you're concerned about, um, you know, health issues related to talc, this does not have talc in it. And it works just as well as the original. Like, um, this is, you know, something that is tried and true. And I'm happy to report that it worked well with the other complexion products. Um, this was gifted to me. Uh, I don't know if it was like influenced or something, but it showed up at my door and I'm not complaining guys because I love the original and so I was keen to try this and it worked out so I took it with me and I'm really happy that I had this with me because again there were some hot moments <laughs> and this made sure everything stayed in place. I was really happy to have this with me. Oh, and let me not forget, um, in addition to the refer moisturizer that I referenced, I also brought my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. This was really nice to have as well. So I brought two blushes, which is such a triumph for me, guys. I kind of like these softer tone blushes for like everyday makeup use. So I have this LYS higher standard satin matte cream blush in the shade unforgettable and this is from the lys um, holiday set guys and these are so cute so here are the other two um i was a good girl i, I was like tempted to bring all three of these but i didn't i was like what which, which is the one that i'm most likely to wear and um it was the shade unforgettable so here's like the full size blush this is um this is the shade humble Okay, I've been through this one. It's kind of similar. This is like a little more like reddish, but um, Humble is one of my favorite shades um, in this formula. And so you can see like the size difference in the packaging. So not that this isn't like travel friendly, but this is like super travel friendly. So if you have like very limited space, this is really, really good. And the other blush that I brought is um, a classic. This is the shade 
Dolly from Buxom. Please don't, again, judge it, but like I have like abused this blush. I really enjoy it. It's um, such a great color. I haven't hit pan on it or anything yet, but it's such a flattering color to me on my skin tone. And it's, you know, pretty long wearing, which is another reason I, I decided to take this with me. So I have like a slight variety here. <laughs> And I was really good, guys. I only brought one mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. This was another 21 Days of Beauty purchase. And something that is a personal goal of mine is to be better about using the things that I get during these sales. Because there's no point buying something on sale if you weren't interested in using it in the first place. This was a win for me. The only mascara I brought, I did not bring 10 mascaras like I'm usually tempted to do. So I'm really happy with this. Okay, speaking of other uh, eye products, I brought my Kalas Eyelash Glue. It is latex free. Um, and then I just brought one pair of Ardell Foam Ink Lashes. Like, <laughs> and these are really like on sale, I think, at like Marshalls or something. I don't know. So um, they worked really well. There were a couple of nights where we went to dinner with um, my husband's colleagues and then um, we also made some friends in Egypt which was like really cool so the nights that we went out and I wanted to do like a little extra something um, I used this glue I love this I apply this lash glue like an eyeliner and and then I just stick it on and it does not irritate my eyes and it is very secure this is probably one of my favorite lash glues that I've ever used because I don't know what happened to the House of Lashes lash glue. Like that used to be my favorite. And then um, I don't know if it's discontinued. Um, I haven't checked in a while because uh, once I found this, I stopped looking. Okay guys, I have a couple of more face products that I will share with you. And you know what? I realized that I probably could have lived without these and saved myself even more space, but I don't regret having them. So the first one that I brought was the Almar Cosmetics face palette. This is the one that's for like medium skin tones. I'm solidly tan, beige, beige or tan, depending on the season. This are, these are beautiful powders. So it's, I did use this um, like one or two times, but I found like, I didn't really need to layer on too many products like once I got to Egypt. There were just other priorities. But not like I do, I love this, um, the brightener. This brightener here is really nice. The shade Solterra is really nice. I probably would use Always Summer kind of when my skin's a little bit deeper, but Solterra I did use a couple of times just to kind of like add a little dimension to my face and, you know, emphasize like, you know, looking a little chiseled you know uh but yeah this is such a great face palette and it does come with a mirror and it survived it survived going across the world so i would say if this was one that you did want to travel with this fits the bill it has this great magnetic closure um very travel friendly sturdy cardboard packaging so um i didn't get as much use out of that as i expected i would but i still don't regret bringing it Medium Glow Obsessions Mini Face Palette from Huda Beauty. These are like such beautiful highlighter shades. I didn't use this as much as I thought that I would, so I probably could have lived without it. I, I don't regret having it. It's great for when I'm home, but I probably could have left it there. Okay, one of my weaknesses when I travel is bringing way too many lip products, but I was really, really proud of myself, again, for, like, cutting it down substantially. I actually have a Pat McGrath lipstick that could be included in this lineup. It's already out because I use it so much, um, and I will link it below because I'm already drawing a blank on which one it was, but it's one of my favorite Pat McGrath lip products. I brought two of the Too Faced Melted Matte lipsticks. Like they're they're not like super different from each other, but they're different enough like when you put them on. So I have cinnamon bun here and I have pumpkin spice here. So the pumpkin spice is like a little tinge more like orange to it. And the cinnamon bun is like a little more brown. But these were like really great neutral colors. Okay, so those worked out really well. And then I had this Natasha Denona my dream lip gloss which is like 
Um, probably after the eyeshadow palette, like my favorite thing from that collection. And then um, I brought this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I think this is a really nice product. It was really nice on the lips. Looking back, I probably could have like cut this down even more. I probably would have just stuck to like the pumpkin spice and the tart and been good. Okay, like a slight change of pace here. This was the perfume that I brought. This is uh, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa from the K Ali brand. I was really glad to have this scent with me it smells really really nice and it was perfect for travel and like as you can see like i made some i've made good leeway because this is probably one of my favorite from that lineup um this came in like the set with the four minis and i don't remember the name of the other three but this is the one that i reach for the most often and i thought oh i'm gonna take this with me i'm really glad i did i used it every single day so this was definitely something i was glad to have Okay, quickly, just talking about tools that were like necessary. Okay, I have my Tweezer Man tweezers. These are so old that the logo <laughs> is rubbed off. These are my like, you know, OG Tweezer Man tweezers that I've had, I feel like at least 10 years now, and they're still going really strong. I have my little shaver here for instances where, um, you know, I need to trim something really, you know, quickly and then of course you know I don't think you should go anywhere without some kind of pencil lip or eye pencil sharpener okay last but not least I'm gonna talk about like the eye products that I use so I brought this like eyeshadow primer potion but I'm gonna be honest with you I ended up like not really using it because like we would be out during the day and I did not do like any intricate looks because like you're just trying to get to like your tour on time and we did have someone that would drive us around which I recommend um, if you are not from Egypt and you don't know people there and even if you do like m most people who aren't from there um, it's a very a uh, hard place to drive um, for someone who's not from there. So we did have a driver. So we had, you know, in the mornings, like this was just like one extra step that I just ended up not going through. I thought I would use my Danessa Myricks color fix. I did not really get to use this. This wasn't the trip where I ended up using this because, you know, it does require having like some tools and some brushes, things like that. So I, I think next time I bring one of the color fix, it's gonna be one of the other shades, like one of her other mattes or shimmers that I could use as like a one and done eyeshadow or like an eyeshadow blush lip type combo. So even though it's a great multi-use product, if you're just trying to do something really, really quickly for, for what I was trying to do, probably could have left this guy at home and like swapped it out for a different color fix that I know that I would use. I brought my Petit Four and Praline. I fell in love with this palette. I took it to France with me this past summer and it was probably one of my most used palettes in France. This matte brown shade right here is just so great for a crease color and then the shimmers in here can either be like a one and done or you can do a combination. And this is not the most exciting palette color wise. I mean, you have like four kind of like brown tone golden shades, but I think for practical purposes, this is like genius, honestly, because if you're traveling and you want to still look put together and chic and you want to have an eyeshadow formula that's flattering like this palette I don't know how to articulate how much I love this like and it surprises me how much I love this four pan very basic eyeshadow palette but it's a combination of the formulas it's the simplicity of the use of this palette so I was really really happy to use this one and I used it in conjunction with so I took one of my empty palettes, one of my empty palettes, this is from ColourPop, and I put a ton of my Viseart shadows in here. So look how compact this is. Like, I get all of these shadows, okay? So I have 16 shadows plus the four here. So I was able to bring 
20 eyeshadow shades in like this tiny size here because the great thing about the Viseart palettes is that they are magnetic but I pulled these from the various edit palettes I feel like I, this is like Paris edit uh, Rose edit and two others so like I took them um, I borrowed from like four of the edit size palettes and I came up with this and it had everything that I needed I have a black shadow I have kind of like this bone color shadow if I wanted like you know some a white matte I have this pinky shade I have like mid-tones I have this kind of like burgundy shade I have a gold like a bold gold shade here like this gold I mean look at that do you see that so if I really had wanted to like do something intense I have all of these options like the shimmers they're so pretty, you guys. If you were looking for a formula that is sophisticated, I like to use that word. It is a very sophisticated formula because you know some of them were like quote unquote like fun, bright brands. Those formulas can look a little chunky on a lid that's a little less taut. For me, the Viseart formula is one. It just it just works really, really well for me. I like how the shimmers are. Pretty one here. Okay, very creamy, very smooth. See, here's the other thing that motivated me to consolidate and keep things a little less packed was that I damaged a palette on uh, a recent trip because I just had too much stuff in the bag. I got greedy and I tried to bring too many things and it damaged the mirror in one of my palettes, which made me incredibly sad. And I realized, Erica, duh, like <laughs> you're just over packed. You need to take some things out. So not only does bringing the amount of stuff down help from the perspective of like luggage weight, because <laughs> we know your luggage is too heavy. That's a whole other story, a whole other thing that you have to deal with at the airport. But as far as like protecting the things that you do have, it just makes sense not to overpack. All right guys, so before I close everything out, I'm just gonna show you how the makeup bag looks. Now that I have emptied everything out, I had like waited to unpack it so I could like film this video for you guys and show you what I have in here. And okay, I have some random earrings in here um, that those can come out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take this bag now. And what's great about it is like the whole thing is machine washable. So I'm gonna link this brand um, in the description box because like you can just toss your whole makeup bag in there. You don't have to worry about like, you know, anything getting damaged in the washing machine. Um, and I've washed it a few times before and it comes out, it's it's in great condition and it, really helped me this size bag helped me to really edit down what i wanted to take on this trip and you know it worked out really well so i i don't know let me know if you guys found this helpful to just kind of like talk about uh what's in my travel makeup bag and what i found to be useful lessons i learned uh things that i might do a little differently how i could probably even pare down the quantity of products even more. If you are interested in travel tips or that kind of, kind of like travel tips video, like let me know because there were a lot of things that I learned while I was there and we'd be happy to share with you guys if you're interested. But as always, thank you for taking time out of your day to spend a little bit of it with me and for watching this video. I certainly appreciate it. Please take a minute to like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel. I would love it. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.